Well, hello and happy gaming, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and last run we did a, we, we did Wizard of Legend. Oops, All Fire Edition. That's right, birds. Hi, Cecil. He knows what's about to come up. So today, I thought we'd do a Wizard of Legend Cool as Ice Edition. So let's first set our abilities. There's there we go. Looking good. And I was thinking about this. I'm not sure if I want to do Cardus Prime, Snowflake Chakrams. <clears throat> Alright, so let's actually set our signature first. My first thought was Glacial Cross, just because of how powerful it is, but Frost Scimitar is also good. And these two are not good signatures. What the hell with that? I don't know about Ice Spear either, so it's between Frost Scimitar and Glacial Cross. And I think I'm going to try Glacial Cross, do something a little different. So what other good ice-based spells are there? Ice Spear. Frost Fan is a... <laughs> the thing is, Frost Fan is a, plent is a plenty good just control method. I might just end up going with that and then seeing what else comes up during the run. Just as a good control method. There, I'm just showing you what the ice daggers do. They're a plenty good, hmm? plenty good basic just in speed. They do have a narrow strike zone though, so take that for what it's worth. All right, and increases ice damage. How much does it increase it by? 15%. So, thing is, I could get more out of Jade's Jewel Tiara, but I'm going to take it just because it fits the theme. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Doesn't matter. No one really cares if you break their stuff in this game. Alright, so I have one enemy I'm strong against, one enemy I'm neutral against, and one enemy that's probably going to spank me on the butt. So, Dark Sage, why... If you're gonna do a run like this, why not just go for... Why not just go for an all-water run? Well, you see, my thought process is... I wanted to do something... I wanted to do something that was kind of... That was a bit more of a challenge. And all water is something that I didn't really consider to be much of a challenge. Hi, birds. Cecil, what's wrong? What's wrong, buddy? Alright, if I have enough extra money, I will come back for you, because that's another bit, another bit of damage I could be doing to my enemies. And I love it. But I want to see what sort of... Guys... I want to see what sort of relics and arcana are available first. Because if I can... If I can fill out my roster of relics and arcana, I want to do that. See, the Ice Daggers also have really good knockback, so using those to send people into the Abyss is definitely good. Okay, so I like Paralytic Venom Fang, but right now I would I would put the Robe Improvement over that. So let's see what else is available. Oh, an improvement to Ice Daggers? Yes, please. So, the only thing that changes is that the last dagger here gets thrown. But, and it's an improvement nonetheless. I suppose not the craziest improvement. Cecil's a very upset bird right now. I'm sure you can hear that, though. Listen to that upset bird. I know, you just want me to pay attention to you, buddy. There we go. 
So another reason why I chose to do all ice instead of all fire, if for no other reason than to get the stanza of frost to actually do something, is partially rooted in where the game came from. Alright, I'm used to playing Dead Cells right now, so I was figuring, oh, B button is dodge, right? No, dumbass. But, mm -hmm. The decision, like I said, heavily rooted in the idea uh, in the idea of where the game came from. See, early on, when there were only three elements represented in the trials, it was fire, water, and earth. And at that time, that meant that water basically had things that it was strong against, but only one thing that it was weak against. And that made water one of the strongest elements in the game. So... I figured instead of just going all water and going with that stigma of, oh, it's all it's all power all the time, I'm going to... Aha, first punch these guys. I'm going to restrict it to just ice. Give myself a little, a little extra challenge to work with. It also allows me to use the cool as ice pun, so, you know, bonus points there. You are a very upset bird, you know that? You're just very mad. I'm sorry, buddy. You just have to give me a little bit of time. See, in these trying times, people need entertainment too, pal, and I'm here to provide. Also, I just enjoy doing this. Make no mistake, it's a strong part of why I do this is just for my own enjoyment. Alright, glad this isn't a speed run. Hey, this is just like Hollow Knight. He doesn't know where he's going. <laughs> Shut up. There, got rid of the minions. Now I can focus on you. There you go. Ice Dagger is very fast. So I'm hoping... I don't have... I'll take it just in case I find Kremire. Now, now I will go back and... Randomly enhances an Arcana at the beginning of each stage. Interesting. But that's one of those things that will lose its effectiveness eventually. The Paralytic Venom Stone, on the other hand, not so much. So, I'm a little behind on discussions of, our, of my recent D&D games. So, that's something I can talk about. And for starters, we'll talk about last week's edition of my of my friend's game with you know the with the crazy sorceress. That game brought us to brought us to a location smooth brought us to a location known as the Bloody Fours. And what you have basically have there is creepy fours that's been cursed. And we don't know what caused the curse. We actually know very little about the curse itself. All we know is that it was cursed. So apparently there is this tribe of elves there that that were essentially moon worshippers, and <clears throat> there we go. And they had somehow wrought a curse upon themselves, where the land and all the people in it were were essentially uh, cursed with a uh, with a terrible fate. Now, this catches the attention of my sorceress because if you remember, she's actually of a priest class. 
and her her deity is that of the Lunorian deities. So she she works with both the moon and magic. So she can see something's going on. Well, both she can both see it and she can feel it in her in her crazy chaotic neutral bones. So she and so early on we find this character known as the Moon Lord, who is the leader of the enemies in that area. And hmm, I do have a melee basic, so that might finally be of some use. The rest of this not so much. Not unless I find Ice Seekers. So, we... Taha, so... I'm pretty sure we were intended to fight this guy, but... Considering that him and his people are the victims of a curse, I didn't... I just... And, and because he's worshipping the... My character's deity of choice, I decide, wait, diplomacy is actually an option here. There are plenty of scenarios in which it wouldn't have been. Let's be completely real. But in this t in this instance, it is. So I decide to strike up a bit of conversation about about him and his people and their and their deity of choice. After you know making fun of him a little bit because that's just what I do. Nice. Ah, it's water, not ice. Alright. I'll have to leave it behind. As per the stipulations of the challenge. Sorry, I can't be cool as ice if I'm flinging water everywhere. I'm sorry, Taffy. You just had to get blown up for no reason. Which, to be fair, is generally what happens when you get blown up anyway. Half the time, you can't use what you drop. But, I mean, the other half the time, we're glad to have you there. So we learn we learn more about what happened, and I'm and I we strike up a bargain with I believe he was called the Moon Lord, in which we, in which I say okay I think I'm pretty sure I can purify purify your land, but I need to I need to make sure I need to well I don't I lost track of what I was saying um nothing here to use. I was aware this is going to be a challenge when I started, so no harm, no foul. Would like something like Roxel's Pendulum to uh, to make the proceedings just a little bit easier, but Okay, came in just a little a little ahead of the buzzer on that one. And ooh, catalytic vial, what does that do again? Okay. It's not great, but it's not awful either. Just for the fun of it, I'm gonna grab this. There's always the chance that I'll get the that I'll get the other half of that and we'll get another fusion item, which would be fun. So the Moon Lord tells us, okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're you're one of our goddesses chosen. You can you can undo this curse on our land, but you need to you need to see all of them, all of the rooms in my land before you can before you can do that, which she of course translated to complete the map. Got it. No one knew what she was talking about, but that's fine. That's the whole point. So after deadpooling the hell out of that conversation... That was easy. <clears throat> we go to... We go to complete... We go to quote-unquote complete the map. That's definitely not ice. 
All right, now this boss is resistant to water, but not immune to freeze, so the elemental enemies can still be frozen. So, hopefully we find more arcana and good relics here. Punch. Yeah, that's what you deserve. Alright, get this guy out of the way. Oh, owie. Alright, so by the time we make it to the end, I hadn't forgotten about what was said, but I did sort of assume that... Um... Now, if I'm cool as ice, can I really be throwing fire around? I don't know, but wind I can probably do. Still sticking with all ice arcana, though. Oh, wait, no, that's not the same thing. Darn it. That's right, Cabby's items are all candy. Why did I think the balloon was... Never mind me. I'm dumb. Alright, come on, Iris. Sell me some Ice Arcana. Do I regret starting up this challenge? No, I just wish... Wish it was going a little better, though. But, that's the thing about a roguelike game, you never know what you're going to find. It's just like a box of chocolates, except for I'm not going to be a Forrest Gump meme. So by the end of the dungeon, we hadn't forgotten about what was said. I just figured I would need to actually cast some form of blessing spell and actually complete the little ritual that had been started. But... To everyone's surprise, both, you know, mine, my party, the enemies, we finished the last room, and then all of a sudden there's just an explosion of green and plants. So I guess my goddess had decided it would just be a nice little gas just to... just to activate the spell without telling anyone. So in the end, we in the end we get to the end of the dungeon and there's just a burst of just this burst of plants and magic, very Okami style if you played that game. When you purify a land there, all of a sudden, boom! Plants and green and luscious scenery abound, which is fine. That's ultimately what we were going for. But holy crap, did it catch us by surprise and it just sort of happened. Because again, I was expecting to have to activate it, but no. Just sort of there. Um, okay. Hands frost faints. Alright, starting to get a little desperate for Arcana here. Not only did this catch us all off guard, but the enemies that were in that last area at the time just kind of look to each other and then go, yeah, we're out of here. One of them needed a little convincing, but we got the job done. Totally fine with Fleet Lancer being the boss here. Oh, I missed. See, that's what I mean about it having a very narrow strike range. Okay, so that that in and of itself added to my difficulty because I screwed up really bad. Raffle ticket. Interesting. All right. Hopefully, we can I can get that to work out for me. I do not want to get rid of Frost Fan. 
because there's a chance that there won't be an ice elemental one in there, and then I'll just be SOL and JWF. For those of you who aren't familiar with George Carlin, that shit out of luck and jolly well fucked. To be fair, that might be the position I'm in anyway. So I just want to make sure that I don't lose prematurely on this challenge. God, I hate the little roly-poly guys. Just one big rolling hitbox just to screw with me. Iris, you need to sell me Ice Arcana. Oh, so that ca that caught us all off guard. I, mean, I just realized that part of this is not is not two weeks ago, but was the session that ha that happened just the other day. So. Oh, well, I guess we're getting a two-for-one today. Right, Paralytic Venom Stone is definitely doing its job. I'm just having, having a hell of a time keeping up with things. Thanks for reacting, game. Alright, let's get rid of you first. God, those guys are unfair. Okay. Alright, so cool as ice challenge did not work. And fortunately for you, that was also about the end of my story. So, should I just maybe just get rid of this video and acknowledge that it never happened? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use this video as a precautionary tale that, hey, sometimes, sometimes certain challenges don't work. So, next time I play, I will use a, a much different run, something that, something that has a, allows me to do a little bit more. This is what happens when you decide to take a particular road. Now, the fire challenge that I just did could have ended the same way, but it didn't. And the reason why it didn't is because I found more things that I could use. Now, if I were just strictly going all water, not all ice, then actually I did have more options, and I probably would have actually done fine. Because one of them was the Water Pulse Agent, could have taken the Grimoire of Ruin, and then we probably would have been more or less set. But, I wanted to do a challenge, and sometimes, this is what happens when you do a challenge, is you just get screwed. I mean, another thing that happened is I was trying to use my Glacial from glacial Cross when it was on cooldown. Again, part, part of the reasoning for that being, I wanted to get rid of that electric enemy right away. Things went down, bada bing, bada boom, a combination of my own mistakes and limited choices led me here. So, again, that's how it, that's sometimes just how a challenge run works. I might come back to Cool as Ice a little bit later on down the road, but in the meantime, use this as a cautionary tale. Sometimes challenges don't work out the way you want them to. But it did give me an excuse to use the stanza of Frost, and that's something. So, thank you very much for watching. We will continue on with more D&D &D tales and just other things that I want to talk about in the next video. So, until next time. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.